blessings, love, and this is my offering to the divine cancer solar season, new moon and cancer that is upon us. I have been following the energy of cancer for many years. You are a star seed by nature. Where did you come from? When we ask ourselves these questions, definitely through the, the power and the pathway and the energy accessing of cancer energy. Uh, Nikola Tesla was also born on uh, July 10th, did you know this? So my name is Tessa and I feel definitely connected to that, that consciousness and the, the power of that man and what he brought forth to this world and continues to bring forth. And one of my favorite spiritual lessons came from Nikola Tesla that I'm obviously butchering the um, quote fully, but it's more just like, I know not where this being within me comes from, but I know that I am a receiver and that information is coming from this world beyond. Like I am the receiver, you are the receiver, you are always connected, it's just, what are you tuning into? Uh, we all have power to truly heal and activate our human body. And I believe that that is one of the greatest gifts that cancer can teach us and guide us with. But we have to get real with the ways that we harm our bodies and disconnect from our bodies and have habitually thought about our bodies and how we have inherited so much of our belief systems and complete anatomy and physiology ignorance as an inherit it's an inheritance it's it's i don't know anything about my body there's somebody else that'll know more about my body than i do of course i don't know what my body parts are called i can't name my bones obviously i'm generalizing but when we really think about what we're teaching children especially don't you desire to teach children and raise children that understand who they are fundamentally by nature? I've spent the last 10 years of my life, the last 20 years of my life, the last 22 years of my life, really trying to understand like, who am I? What am I? Why do I feel this way? Why am I doing this to myself? I thought those things a long time ago, but then, you know, really got lost in a lot of disconnected practices of addictions and really a lot of workaholism and using other people's lives and this codependent nature of our humanity to distract away from my own evolutionary process. And so part of my healing through Cancer Sun, Cancer Energy has been learning to nourish and nurture my own humanness by getting to know myself and learning to mother myself the mother that that we all long for we are all byproducts of deeply wounded women in a myriad of forms deny whatever you want i speak on my own experience and also speaking with thousands of people over many years i am a healthcare practitioner by profession which has also been a huge part of my spiritual awakening. Like you cannot spend this much time with these many people, both in person, touching them and, and online, and not get this understanding that there are patterns that are truly playing out within the human construct. And we are desperate to learn how to awaken into ourselves. And what I've really, really learned is that we need to learn more about our bodies every single day. The willingness to touch our bodies and to touch the parts of our bodies that hurt the most. And, and hold them like they are our baby. Like, you know, if my neck hurts all the time, I wanna get to know the muscles in my neck. I wanna look at muscles of my neck on the internet. And you're looking at your phone 24 seven anyways. What are you even looking at? Uh, you know, learning how to actually look yourself in the, in the eye and look yourself in the mirror. And you're like, that is me. That's who I am. And I'm gonna learn how to love myself at every stage of my being and my remembering. Fat phobia is a huge giant psyop that is keeping us encased in this dense stasis of our consciousness and we need to awaken beyond the fear of fat and the fear of self-loathing and the fear of fat on bodies and the fear, the fear, the fear of what you believe to be healthy and true and real. You need to learn how to come back into your body and in a medical astrology cancer, rules the breast tissue 
and around the chest and you know humans with breast tissue billions of humans on this planet with breast tissue have you ever even touched your own breast in a way that is not for somebody else <clears throat> especially for a male's gaze right but these breasts are glandular tissue, they are highly intelligent, and they can keep human beings and sustain human life exclusively. That's incredible. Your body dissolves your own being, your own fat to create milk if you were gonna create a human. Isn't that amazing? The congestion that is in the axillary or armpit area here on the side which is the serratus anterior latissimus dorsi into the rib cage underneath the breast if you took the breast tissue off and put it down the pectoralis major is locked in a twist deep underneath the muscle of the nipple this is the the unity and the connection back to the oneness of humanity that we connect back to our anatomy we connect back to the base structure of who am i what am i what is this body what are you trying to tell me buddy oh you hurt all the time really bad low back pain is what really helped me come back into my body is about three years into my practice and this was in around 2013 and I had debilitating low back pain and I couldn't like move and every time I moved you know they'd say like you know when your back goes out you're just so full of energy that your nervous system just like arrests you and you're like Fuck it. and I'd never had that before in my life but I wasn't taking care of myself and I was just working constantly and touching people constantly and drinking constantly just not ever touching my body really and learning how to touch the parts of my body that hurt learning how to acknowledge the parts of my body that somebody taught me how to hate so much. This is a superficial fatty layer, but underneath that is an incredible, powerful abdominal wall that is so tight and so tense in every single person I touch. You are not alone in this. That if you were willing to put food grade oil all over your body and looking at pictures of your anatomy and digging and touching, you are not going to perforate an organ. You're not going to explode your abdominal wall. Really, truly, that if we learn how to condition our fatty tissues and our superficial fascia and our connective tissue that feeds and, and winds into all of our muscular tissue, if we really learn how to connect to this and touch this and slowly change the molecular structure of our bodies to soften, to realign beyond ancient densities, imagining ourselves as true star seeds so we are encased right now in our density, in our depression, in our self-loathing, in our grief, in our despair, in our desire to create change on this life, in this life, on this earth creates tension, creates an aggression that I can only feel deep compassion for, an aggression that is coming out of me over the last year of my life that I've never even known. And yet, I know her deeply and learning how to reclaim these fragments of myself, my inner child, my inner teenager that is very wounded and very angry at all of the things that had to happen. And I had put all of those feelings aside. We put everything aside, but it remains in the energy field. And so through the power of Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, the inner mother, the inner child, the inner teenager, the big mama, the big mama, the feminine aspect of God that was eradicated from our human consciousness is here with us, in us, as us now. Not relegated to beyond in another dimension. She is here with us now, in this moment now. Hear me now, through you. Every time you connect to your body, every time you willingly connect to nature, sitting on the grass, watching the bees, watching the bugs, watching the flowers, listening to the flowers, the simplicity of going to a body of water, reconnecting, touching, touching, touching. Hey, I'm here, I'm here, I feel this pain. I feel this grief. I feel how much I hate this body. Now I will no longer harm myself. 
someone told me how to hate this body and I will no longer harm myself. Think of all the things that we were taught that are so fucked up and so detrimental to neurodevelopment throughout this life. So much shame and body hatred and real, real deep ignorance and how to ignore our bodies and ignore every sensation and be obsessed with instant gratification beyond porn culture, beyond the eating disorders, beyond peddling our bodies to strangers. These are things your children are doing. Are you willing to get to know yourself so you can demonstrate self-care to your children? Well, we cut ourselves in our room because we just want to feel something different, but learning now that I don't have to harm myself anymore. I don't have to harm myself anymore. And the greatest thing that I wish somebody had taught me when I was a young person is that you don't have to harm yourself anymore. And there are infinite ways to kiss the ground and remind yourself that you are part of this earth. You are not alone. You are not alone. The first time that I laid on the earth and I went into the ocean and I screamed my motherfucking head off, please help me, Gaia. Gaia, I need you. I'm sorry. I've been lost for so long. I'm here. I'm here with you. Can you help me? Can you help me? And I said it from the deepest part of my heart, desiring to reconnect to the heart and soul of the Mother Earth. The Mother Earth. The big mama that we have all come here to protect and that is your mission here on earth do you remember you must come back to your body though and you must massage your body and hold your body and speak your body and have courage to take care of yourself and make the decisions to say the things and leave the environments if you have the privilege to do so that is the gift to this earth your self-care is a gift to this earth new moon blessings my love cancer moon blessings my love